Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 20 video in VCP 8 data center virtualization 2023 video and in this video I am going to show you how to put your ESXi host in maintenance mode. So to put maintenance mode uh, on a ESXi host there must be a <coughs> reason. So there are multiple reasons you can say. Let's say if you want to perform any hardware maintenance, if you want to perform any software maintenance like upgrading the ESXi host to latest version or applying security patch or critical patch whatever um, task related to ESXi host and maybe you want to change some network setting you want to change some uh, storage setting a storage adapter setting or anything if you want to modify on ESXi host the best way to do it put your ESXi host in maintenance mode so there was no uh, actually uh, production workload in that virtual machine make sure make sure uh, nothing no virtual machine is running on ESXi host and you are good to perform any maintenance activity so it will not going to impact anything on your environment which may be in production impact or outage to any virtual machine so two reasons mainly hardware upgrade or hardware maintenance and then related to software software upgrade or maybe software patches or anything you want to do on ESXi host so now um, to put ESXi host in maintenance mode there is a very simple step you don't need to perform, uh, perform a list of uh, tasks basically you just go ahead right click on your ESXi host and you can put ESXi host on maintenance mode so this is my demo environment which we are working since last few videos so I'm going to use the same environment to uh, give you the demo how, how you can put your ESXi host in maintenance mode so if you see here I got one cluster and I got host also individual standalone host so put if you want to put a standalone host on ESXi uh, this mode then there is uh, mainly you need to make sure all the virtual machine is powered off or if you want to uh, perform any activity you know so just go right click on your ESXi host go to maintenance mode and enter maintenance mode so if it will show you the the host maintenance mode does not perform any activity virtual machine including virtual machine provisioning so this host is basically not going to be available for any perform uh, any activity which you want to perform the host configuration is still enabled you can basically perform any setting any changes on ESXi host but uh, does not complete until the task is completed you need to either power off or migrate virtual machine to host manually so this is what it's saying if you have a what, running virtual machine then you have to power it off manually so you can cancel enter maintenance mode anytime if let's say if you want to put in maintenance mode and due to xyz reason host is not be able to go in maintenance mode then you can cancel it also so put the selected host in maintenance mode yes we want to put so you can directly go from here and put the maintenance mode so this is how it's look like you will see uh, under the bracket it will show you in maintenance mode so now if if i show you let's say if i want to if you want to deploy a virtual machine if i try to deploy a new virtual machine let's say name call it name test okay or test and then if i click next and i want to sh select this this host is disconnected or maintenance mode so you cannot do anything on maintenance mode this is what it was saying so now this is very straightforward for uh, standalone nodes but if you want to do a maintenance mode on uh, cluster nodes so that also you can perform easily just you need to make sure no work uh, no workload running so this host you can see no workload is there no vm so I, i'm going to put this host in maintenance mode so this is going to be a very simple straightforward so it will go in maintenance mode soon so at the back end it's verify all the things so move powered off or suspended virtual machine to another host just click on ok now you will see it will go in queue for few seconds and now the hosting maintenance mode. now if you go here in configuration you will see the vSphere uh, HA status is and they going to be default and these all is going to be unsupported and all so here if you see on a cluster node you will see HA status is connected and secondary so this will uh, it's not going to be available for any uh, activity in a cluster so this is how you can do and now if, if I show you the another host which have a virtual machine let's say uh, my this ESXi host uh, having virtual machine it's a uh, vCenter server is self running on this machine so I want to put on maintenance mode so go here 
enter maintenance mode and click ok now what it say there was a one or more powered on virtual machine on esxi2 so this operation uh, proceed uh, proceed once the all virtual machine is powered or migrated to another host so if i go ahead and click ok you will see the process is now started and uh, it is migrating vcs uh, vcsa so this virtual machine it's going to be migrated soon so now you see 23 percent so it will migrate all the running virtual machine and the power of virtual machine also to another host so this is what it's running so it will take some time to mig finish the migration once the migration is finished and there was no virtual machine running on this host it will uh, the host will go in maintenance mode automatically so now the question how many virtual machine you can put on maintenance mode uh, if you are running a cluster so it's depend on your compute power how many virtual machine you have deployed in your infrastructure to just show you i'll i'll go ahead and put one more virtual machine in the main, uh, one more esxi hosting maintenance mode so in this cluster you will see i got three four esxi host out of which i'm going to put three esxi host in maintenance mode and i'll show you if there is any impact so this is what i'm going to do maintenance mode yes and click ok so it will migrate the virtual machines <coughs> so basically there was uh, um, if you want to do a maintenance on a cluster let's say if you have a 10 cluster 5 uh, one cluster with 10 esxi hosts you can do maintenance on multiple hosts at the same time you, it does not require to um, if you want to perform a maintenance you need to do one by one on e, uh, one by one on a uh, nodes on the single cluster so you can perform it uh, multiple so here if i go now if, if, now you can see the uh, red mark is here raised and insufficient ha failover resource so this is what you are going to get if you put many uh, multiple hosts in esxi uh, multiple esxi host in uh, maintenance mode uh in running cluster then you will see this so you need to make sure if you are getting this kind of insufficient vSphere ha failover resource then make sure you have a minimum uh esxi host which can cater your requirement for running workloads let's say if you have a 10 esxi host and you are running uh, uh, multiple uh, virtual machine then you need to make sure you have a um, available compute power uh, in your system to uh, handle the workload so uh, now you can see two workload uh, two esxi host maintenance mode this is good now if i show you esx uh, the vcsa uh, is migration is 44 percent once this migration is completed this host will also go in esxi uh, esxi will go in maintenance mode so you need to wait for this now same thing i'm going to do put this machine also in maintenance mode to just to show you so this is standalone again so there was no issue in this standalone esxi host to go in maintenance mode it will just check uh, the uh, there was no virtual machine running state and then it will create input so now how to remove it so just right click and nothing else you need to click here exit maintenance mode from maintenance mode exit maintenance mode so it will remove virtual uh, esxi host from maintenance mode so now you can see 6 is out of maintenance mode and 5 also I'm going to do. So putting ESXi host on maintenance mode is a simple task. Just you need to make sure there was no workload running and that's all. Now this machine is VCSA is big machine. That's why it's taking some time to finish the migration. And once this migration is finished, you will see this enter maintenance mode for ESXi2 will also going to be completed. So we need to give some time to finish the virtual machine so it's depend let's say if you on one esxi host you are running 10 virtual machine or 20 virtual machine then definitely it's going to take some time to put esxi host in maintenance mode so whenever you are planning any physical activity or uh, let's say uh, any physical um, hardware change or you want to perform a um, what uh, esxi upgrade or something then you need to calculate this time also how much time it's going to take to put esxi hosting maintenance mode so now you, you you will see here the esxi 02 is good i will see these three hosts are in maintenance mode so this is good 
now i'm going to remove one cluster node from uh, one node from out of this uh, maintenance mode i'm going to take esxi04 out of cluster uh, basically out of maintenance mode in this cluster so just to show you so now i took this out of maintenance mode so you can see exit maintenance mode is running 52 percent it's checking vspare things and waiting for a cluster eviction complete now you will see this is good so now this is running a, a vmware vspare ha status running primary and this is running secondary so now we got two esxi host in this particular cluster in a running state so this is good cluster service status is healthy so this is how basically you can perform or you can put your esxi host in maintenance mode and you can bring out of maintenance mode so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye